video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload from a MVC core ASP form, how to upload images. So I'm going to start from uh, uh, already created um, MVC core project. There's a video that shows you how to get there. And what I've done is at this time you should know that if a web page has the address home show fields, that's going to go to the home controller and the method show fields. So you should know that. Uh, you should also be aware of a way of passing data from controllers to v uh, to views uh, called view data because that's what I'm going to use. It's not the best way to do it, but it's simple enough. So I do really want to illustrate how to upload an image, not so much how to pass the data uh, back and forth for other purposes. So let's say you have a form. Its method is post. For images, that's what it will have to be. But let's say method is post. Action goes to the show fields um, web page in the home controller. So we need to code this show fields method. It's just going to have a text with a full name and then a submit button. Very simple. Let's go to the home controller, which is where, where this guy is going to pass his data. Let's look at the show fields method. The show fields method will take a a file name, whoops, a first name, right? That's the name of this legacy there. It's going to take a first name. And let's do this. Let's just create a field here, view data, and then a name. That's what it's going to be. And that's going to be equal to first name. Remember that this first name here matches the name on my form. Oh, sorry, full name should be full name. Let's do full name. And then here, of course, is full name. So I'm going to put this full name in the F name field of view data. And then my view should be called showfields.cshtml, which is right here. And I am going to do view data F name. So all I have here in this web page is just a label with the data that I'm going to pass in view data F name. So let's see how this works. So here I have my form and I can enter a full name. So Peter Pan and I say go. And it's going to go to the show, uh, show fields web page and it's going to display Peter Pan. So I have passed data from a form to a controller and from the controller back to another web page. Now, what if we want to do something similar with images? In order to work with images, there are a few changes that need to happen. So let's go to our index page here. And let's change, by the way, I just changed the default index page. I deleted everything in there and put this code that you see here. So first, the form. The form itself has to have an ink type of multi-part form data. Okay, so I can put an image in here. I'm going to put a field for an image. So input type is equal to file. Right, type is equal to file. The name of this is going to be pic for picture. Right, and then I'm going to put a, a break so it doesn't look incredibly horrible, just ugly. All right, so I'll, have, I'll put uh, a pic, which because it's an input of type file is one of those things that is going to ask me to browse and select an image. And that's going to be uploaded. Now, my method, my show fields method now has to accommodate this file type. So let's go to my home controller here. Show fields, now it's going to receive a parameter of type that can support a file. And that parameter is type i form file, okay? And it has to be has to have the same name as you know the the field in the form pick. Now, if you can, if i form file is not showing up, just for the sake here of argument, you will need to be using Microsoft ASP Core hosting, and then later on you'll need to be using. Uh, uh, system.io so you can just type those two using clauses right at the top of your controller class okay let's get back to this so now we have this pick this image 
Now, when ASP.MPC core, when ASP.NET uploads a file, the pick becomes not only just a file name or the bits of the file, there's a full object with a lot of properties in it. So we're going to use those to save this. We're going to save this picture into the home directory, into the www root directory. By the way, I already have a picture here. Let me erase it. Delete. Yes, delete that. Okay. So now uh, that's going to be deleted. Now let's look at the picture, right? So the picture is coming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if the picture is not null, meaning someone uploaded something here, right? What I'm going to do is first I'm going to tell the system where to save it. So uh, the full file name of this picture, right? With fully the directory where I'm going to save it and everything, it's going to be first I need to find I need to find uh, my root path. But that's a problem. How do we find a root path? So let's make a parenthesis here for now. To find your root path, because this can be anywhere, so to find a root path, you need what's called a hosting environment. And for that, we need to do a little bit of work on our home controller. The first thing we need to do, there's going to be an error there, don't worry. Here, right. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a variable, a private variable of type uh, hosting environment. So I'm going to do private read-only i hosting environment. Again, if you use the imports, i hosting environment should be there. If not, import it. So you do i hosting environment, let's call he for hosting environment. Now, we need to initialize that. And ASP knows how to initialize that if there's a constructor in the home controller that can take a hosting environment. So we're going to create that public home controller. This is my constructor. It receives a, um, a parameter of type hosting environment. I'm going to call it E. And then here I'm going to say the hosting environment global variable is going to be to the one that equals to the hosting environment that's being passed. This is it. Now we have a hosting environment and we can query a bunch of things about our hosting environment, including the root path. So let's continue. We'll say path combine. This basically joins two paths, and I'm going to join the path of my root folder with the file name that comes from the image, so then I can save it with a proper file name. So the the root path is the hosting environment dot web root path. So I'm going to combine that path with pick dot file name. Now the file name is, is a big file name here. This this has this has a, a, a lot of directories from where my computer is uploading it. So what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna say I'm just I'm just interesting in the file name here. So when we upload a picture you will see that the picture itself has a file name that is the file name from where I am uploading it. But what I really need is just the last portion. Like if my picture is C colon users colon ABC, I mean ABC forward slash mypicture.gif, uh, right? I only need the mypicture.gif part of the whole thing. This is what this is doing. It extracts just the file name of the picture. Whoops, I'm sorry. Just the file name of the picture and I will add it to the root path. So this is the file name. This is where the file name is going to go. My root path and it's going to have the same file name that I uploaded with. Now, what I need to do then is the picture object has a method called copy to. Okay, this is a synchronous method, but that's not too relevant now, but it takes in a stream of bytes and uh, it takes in a stream of where to copy this file, where to put the bytes of this picture. So we're going to create a new file stream. Oops, a new file stream. A new file stream, and then 
for the file stream we say that variable file name that we used previously so we tell it where and we tell it how to how to uh, create this file and for that we use file mode dot create and that's it when we upload a file it's going to be copied into the www root directory because that's where we want it to copy it if we want another path within that we can again combine more paths like the www red path plus an image path or something like that now how do we know that we copied it well let's add another variable here um, I'm sorry let's add another variable here called um, view data uh, file URL if you want or file location okay and that is going to be equals to file name and then we return our view which is basically the show fields page so let's go work a little bit on the show fields page the CSHTML and let's display both our variables so br and then we have label at view data I believe it's file name I keep forgetting this is why view data is not a very good uh, way to do these things file location file location and this is going to display the file location so let's test this and see if it uh, see if it works so here we have the file first let's browse and let's pick a picture I have this smiley face here I'll put it this is the actual file name from my computer but that's not where it's going to be uploaded it's going to be uploaded into a server and my full name is Peter Pan go so now it will upload the file and it tells me this is where it's actually saving the file right and this is the name that I uploaded and let's see if it if it saved it so we go here we open the www root path and here's a smiley face.png now I can use that path I'm going to delete this uh, delete this file as soon as I close this I'm going to delete this file I'm going to do this again but then using um, the thing is that I can now in my in my web page in my show fields instead of having a label what I'm gonna do is say an image right and then I can actually use this in an actual image the file location starts at www root so we have to change a few things we have to go to the home controller and instead of this being the file name right this will be simply the oops oh, sorry for to write I need to stop this so this will be simply forward slash plus and then the actual the last part of the file name which is path dot get file name of the picture dot file name that's it so that path okay I don't need the whole path to www root because now I'm going to be serving this via HTTP. So I need the whole path to save this in, into the server computer. But when I serve it from an image, right, I just need, because it's in www root, it's going to be in, in, a, in this forward slash directory. And then this is the path to the image. So we can actually see it. Let's see it running. So I'll upload the image face oh Peter Pan and go and here's Peter Pan with an image